do, 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 do. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is here with new flights, and this one is going to be manual cash number two. Cash locations. Now I got an email for well, not an email. I got a comment on. Sorry, old school. I got a comment in uh, the manual cash video from Gregory Pruitt two hours ago. And Gregory Pruitt said, in both cash interfaces, there was a field where you can specify where the cash will live. You never talked about selecting a new drive or drive location of the cash. Can you address this? Yeah. I think you just did. And, uh, but you know what, since you want me to address it, Hey, I'm more than happy to gives me something to do. I appreciate that. So yeah, let's look at that. Uh, manual caching. If you uh, cache it, it how, how, however you want to pronounce it. So, you know, it's one of those don't at me. It's cache, Kineas. It's cache. It, it, okay. It, cash, whatever. The concept behind cache, though, is that it is storing the data for you. So when you want to fly an area uh, again, that you don't have to download all the information again. Now, there's two types. There's the rolling cache. Sounds like a, a rock star. Rolling cash, and uh, right now I have mine set to on, and you can change the cash limit uh, size. If you're doing a lot, you're doing a lot of flying it, and you want it to record everything. Uh, so right now, eight gigabits. If you change these, it can take a significant amount of time. For example. Uh, right now it's set to 8. If I change this to 64, it could take an hour. It can take longer than that. It does not have any update. When you do this and you try to change the drive size, the cache size, cache size, there's no uh, 5% done. There's no. There's nothing. It's just, hang on. Don't, it'll give you a message saying, well, let's do this. Let's change it to 9. No, not 98. We'll change it to 9. Let's see what it does. It's it, Okay. That didn't do anything. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Maybe if we change it to 10, not 109, are we going to get an update? No. I wonder why it's not taking it. Oh, the, duh. I didn't hit appliance. I'm sorry. I, I'm still having coffee. By the way, cheers. Here's to your uh, health, well-being, and prosperity. Tap in the the screen here with uh, my coffee cheers 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 so yeah uh apply and save so we're adding two gigs to this and we can wait enough for like two gigs so hopefully but this should give you an idea we're only doing two gigs here but right down there Right below that is what uh, Mr. Pruitt wanted us to talk about. And that is changing drives and changing and creating your, your own. Okay, so that didn't take very long. Okay, but if you're, if you're going for a much larger size, yes, be prepared to go do something else. Don't sit there and stare at it, You'll drive, especially if you've gone like over 64 gig. Go away from your computer. Don't even think about it. Just go away. Plan to go out for lunch first. Okay? Okay. You can change 
the folder where it's at. Now, uh, a lot of people say, don't put your cache drives on the same drive as your flight simulator because the computer's back and forth. Some people say, well, the SSDs are fast and they, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's wherever you want to put it. So I was excited to get in here and I didn't mess with anything. I, I, I left it by default where it's at on the C drive. And then people say, well, if you've got a slower external drive, you know, just it probably better leave it on the SSD. It's just schools of thought. I don't know. It's it, whatever you, wherever you want to put it. But some people are like, I specifically bought a high speed external super, 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 super SSD specifically for gaming. And that's what you should do too. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. It really is. And I'm thinking about it myself. I really am. So you can change the drive there. You can delete it. Uh, which I might do soon. But right now I don't don't really have a reason to. Now, this is the second type of cache. Cache. The manual cache. Okay. Let's view this. This is where it kind of gets fun. Some people are like, oh, that's tedious. That's tedious. Well, if you've owned other simulators and you've done other types of thing like this where you're trying to get photo data, talk about tedious. But just the setup alone. Oh. Okay, so let's let me pull up the areas that I have been manually caching. Okay. Let's just start you out at some place. I bet that's England or I have no idea where this is at. But right here, pick where you want to start saving. Okay, so my uh, local training airport will be at some point in the future, maybe, is K Fly, and that's Meadow Lake, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Now, it takes a minute to load up, so if you don't see anything, just just hang on, be patient. It's a lesson in patience. Now, the first thing right here is the cache location again. So same idea. It's it's going to the same place as the rolling cache. They're they're both doing the same thing. They're both going to the same folder. There's no there's nothing you there's nothing wrong with uh, deleting this folder. And uh, once you've cleared it, there's there's no problem at all. It's not going to do anything wrong to your game. As I uh, make a disclaimer here, saying I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I've been uh, deleting them. I've deleted them before. You know, even like, you know, just going in there, and just deleting the contents myself. Okay, another thing people are saying is, I, I freaked out, man. It took it took an hour, and, it, you know, I don't know what to do. Can, I'm freaking out. Can I, uh, can I just control alt delete out of here? Is it frozen? Uh, chances are it's probably not frozen. And yeah, you're freaking out. And you set a hundred gigs. So yeah, it is going to take a long, long time. Will you brick your Microsoft Flight Simulator by canceling out and uh, and and stopping? No. As a matter of fact, this 64 gig is a product of, um, I'm bailing, I'm bailing on this. I did, I tried, that was me, I tried setting 100 gig. So after an hour, I thought, okay, maybe something's wrong. I've changed it before, and uh, it just didn't take that long. It, you know, it shouldn't take that long, should it? Yeah, I probably should. But I wanted to get to it, and I got nervous, and I freaked, and I just cut it off. No, I did not break my Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't know anybody who has. I don't know where that comes from. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Well, they tell you, they give you a warning, and that's what freaks everybody out. They're like, don't do it. Don't shut off the computer while this is in place. 
you can always delete it and start over. Okay. So it's finally it finally did load into here, and what you're seeing is these areas that are squared, uh, highlighted. I've already selected those areas, and uh, all these areas that are in white, I have cached. Now you'll notice that some boxes have boxes inside of, of boxes, and that is for the cache level settings, okay? Cache level settings, I don't see anything out here. So these are the, the areas that, it's, that I've cached. You know, let me zoom back out. New region one. New region two, new region three, new region four. Okay, we're gonna create new region like eight. All right, so let's pick an area around Denver that I haven't cast yet. Coming into Denver. Okay, so there's no caching going on in currently in this part of Denver. It's like a brain. Look at the way we make things. Look at that. It looks like a brain. So yeah, we're going to cache this. All right. So, um, and again, you can, it says you can delete a selection. So we're going to cache the new region. And here, when we're zoomed out here, uh, our option is medium. So from this zoom level, whatever we right click and select, it's going to be saved in medium quality. Hold on, let me hit the escape key. Let's see if I can. No, nope, cancel. Oh, but if you, I did it. It I couldn't let go of the mouse. It still took it. But let's say you do want to remove what you've just done here. It says right here, remove and hold control. So same thing, hold control, right key, and it will remove that area. Okay, we're at medium. Um, if we zoom out further, your, your level of quality depends on your zoom level. If I zoom out a little bit further, watch here. Why you can't just select these and it's tied to your zoom level, I don't know. If I select now this entire area and hit finish and download, this will now download in low quality. So let's just see how long. Okay, that's done. It took it. It's done. All right. So now... We're zooming in. We're going to cache a new region inside that region. All right. So the whole area is done now in low. But as we enter this neighborhood, right, uh, the boundary of this neighborhood, for whatever reason, I want this to be, I think it's going to do this whole square anyway, but. I want this to be medium. Finish and download. Okay. It says, please do not turn off the computer when it's caching. All right. So now I've got a box inside of a box. This is low and this is medium. And now if I zoom in, I go cache new region. And now I zoom down into the neighborhood. And now, when I'm zoomed in this close, I get high quality options. Um, it, it ends right there. See this transition? That zoom level right there starts giving you high quality. Now, it's really touchy when you're doing high quality. Sometimes if you go too fast, it'll just start skipping areas. I mean, you can always go over it again. But it's best to just drag slowly. Let's 
see if it'll do it. Well, now it's actually behaving. Before, when I would do it, it would it would bounce all over the place and skip squares. All right, now finish and download. It's gonna cache all that in high quality. Now, again, this will give you an idea. Uh, that was just a little tiny neighborhood. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, somebody said it probably depends on how well the Bing maps were done in that area anyway. Some people said the file sizes aren't big enough. They can't. That can't be right. These file sizes can't be big enough. Uh, they might be. Just depending on the level of uh, data that's collected for that area. I wish they would color code them. And uh, I guess I can start putting in support tickets. Because I guess you can kind of tell. Yeah, I guess you can tell which one is high, medium, and low based on their color. The low, it's more transparent. Or either that or that's just because they're overlapping. That the medium is, you know, slightly more, uh, well, I guess we could try. Let's go out there and see if it's it's just based on zoom quality. What I mean is it's, this is less transparent, that's more opaque, and high quality is very opaque. So let's cache new region. Let's come out to low. Select it finish download we'll just do one box next to another next to another and see if it uh, if it is actually that way or it's based on uh, just because it just looks that way because they're overlapping cash in the region medium finish and download Do, 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 do. Okay. So yeah, it does look different. Cache new region. Zoom in. Zoom, zoom. Okay. Uh, right there. That's it's tough for me. It is. It's it's pretty tough zooming in. That's why somebody said, "Oh, this is going to be tedious." Well. Yeah, but. Oops. It won't scroll the screen. I didn't want to do it in two. Uh, oh well. Do 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 do. And when you go off the screen, it didn't take it. So let's make sure we're not off the screen. Okay, finish and download. Almost done. See, it doesn't take that long. And let's see what it looks like when we zoom out. So yeah, so now you can kind of tell. This is a low quality tile, this is a medium quality tile, and this is a high quality tile. Um, other programs similar to this for the other flight sims, they have different colors to let you know. But this works. It works enough. I get it. So that's it. Uh, thank you to uh, Mr. Gregory Pruitt for the question on on addressing the the cache location. And again, you could you could you can put it where you want. Okay. This has been uh, Kinius for uh, Noob Flights.
Let's see if I can get this thing to update. Do 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 do. Yeah. Getting us for new flights, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing next. I'm still thinking that I want to do um, more Steam Gauge stuff. There's a lot of people out there that are like I don't have the, the premium deluxe. I can't afford that. I dig it. I scraped. Uh, and I don't have the the fancy Garmin 1000. And could you please do more Steam Gauge stuff? Um, yeah, I can. And uh, I think the one I want to do is a uh, VOR to VOR, uh, old school, the old radio, and using your uh, using your VOR dial, your gauge. All right. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video, as they say.